Guys, this is going to be a super duper important video if you are into podcasts. How to actually understand podcast analytics in the right way is something which I'm showing you over here step by step from my own podcast statistics, uh, which is on Digital Pratik show. Uh, it has grown over to 200,000 downloads in like two years. And I'm going to be jumping into my computer screen right now where I'm going to show you step by step that how I analyze my profile and how you should be uh, analyzing your uh, statistics when it comes to a podcast. Plus, I'm also going to show you the tools which I have been using uh, for my podcast and my stats and everything. So hope you get some value over here and hope you will share this episode with somebody who you think that they are into podcast and needs to see with the right mindset over here. All right. Enjoy the episode. People get confused with their podcast stats at times. So I have a friend who was asking me about the stats and I told them, uh, told him that my all time podcast stats right now is 53,941 downloads since published. All right. And uh, you can see this is from November 2019 till March 2020. And today, as of now, I'm recording. This is 31st March uh, 2020. All right. You can see uh, today is which day? Uh, let's say. So today it is 31st March 2020. So it is almost like obviously it is April to 2020. You can say now, and uh, uh, I can say that from November 2019 and uh, this month it has been uh, probably what uh, like one, two, three, four, four months. Right, right now in four months I have uh, 53, 50,000 plus downloads uh, for my podcast episodes. All right. And now um, people say that, okay, fine, uh, Pratik, you have been doing podcasts since ages. Uh, why it is from 2019 only? So the thing is, I was trying to explain him and I thought that I should do a video as well so that people get uh, should not get confused about this in future if they are uh, having the same question. So my point is, this is a kind of a hosting platform which gives you data from the day you host your podcast on a particular platform. So I have been hosting my podcast on Buzzsprout since this day all right since november 2019 but before that i was having my podcast which was uh, hosted on anchor.fm so if you see on anchor.fm if i go into my episodes uh, my last episode over here on this platform would be in uh, november as you can see on 29th november 2019 and then uh, i i did one episode uh, for anchor on anchor just to let people know that i am no longer uploading my podcast on anchor i have shifted to buzzsprout all right so that that's the reason why this is in uh, january 2020 as well but you can see my podcast was previously on anchor.fm till uh, this day all right till this day and uh, at that point in time the podcast was going good like this and over here on the dashboard you can see the total playlist or the total place or total listeners or total downloads which you are able to see over here are more than 100,000 right so 136,000 total plays had has been already done on anchor.fm prior to Buzzsprout so now if I calculate right now as of now I'm doing this podcast uh, since uh, let's suppose can we have all time yeah we have all time as well so from 2017 December, uh, meaning I can say not December, October. So I can say I, I have been uh, uh, like I can say I'm in podcast field since 2017, but not 2017 for my brand. I have been super duper active since I can say July 2018. All right. So from July 2018 to this is right now April 2020. So I can say close to two years. All right close to two years and that too uh, like in 2020 I have been not that active because I have been involved in a couple of things now I'll once again get active on daily basis but I can say probably in two years uh, now I have a total episode downloads of close to 200,000 all right so this is 136,000 plus uh, this is 53,000 so if you calculate 136 plus what 50 uh, this is close to 54 equals to what I don't know 190 all right so 190,000 downloads uh, close to 200,000 downloads in two years 
so that is what i want to tell people that when you are comparing try to compare what you had on your previous host as well if you have multiple hosts now uh, don't just rely on the current uh, stats only on top of that you can see over here estimated audience on anchor.fm is showing only 19 and what is estimated audience size let me zoom in this means the average number of plays each episode gets within 30 days after publishing this is a stand-in for your current audience size meaning if i post right now a uh, episode on anchor it might only get 19 uh, listeners on an average all right <laughs> is it true no it is not why because this anchor right now is giving a data based on uh, my episodes which i have never posted in 2020 and that's the reason why uh, there is a decrease in the estimate because i am not at all on anchor so i don't rely on this number now anymore this is like past data over here who recently started her uh, podcast and i was just guiding her and I, uh, she's a very dear friend to me so i was just guiding her based on her podcast episodes and she was getting 50 plays 30 plays and blah 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 so she was just asking me what do you get and i just sent this particular screenshot all right and this screenshot was sent in october uh, 2019 all right so in october 2019 there were 100 100000 plus plays for me and i had an estimated audience of 390 so at that point in time when i posted something on an average i used to get 400 to 500 plays and that too when i'm posting every single day all right every single day if you post let's suppose if you post weekly basis you will get more audience in that case but i post every day average would go down i'll show you how so let's suppose if i go into the episodes over here for myself so I have been testing that in 2020. So if I go from January, see, I have been posting every day, all right, every, uh, so January 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and I stopped posting uh, just because I wanted to test something. So January 22nd was my last episode, which I posted. And then all of a sudden I had a break. I was testing something. And after a week, uh, after two weeks, after 15 days, I posted something once again. So can you check this episode, all right, after which there was a gap, is having so many downloads so many downloads then once again i tested the same thing so 8 9 10 11 12 13 and then once again i had a gap all right so february 29 once again i'm posting so almost like uh, uh what like 15 days once again almost like 50 yeah 15 days and then once again can you see like the last episode after which i had a gap is having more episodes so the point over here which i'm trying to say is if you have a gap then definitely that episode will have more uh, listeners so if you are a podcaster who is doing podcast every week like once a week then your average number would always be higher than somebody who is doing daily episodes and the third time which i tested this once again on march 4th all right on march 4th i posted this and then once again i had a gap of 20 days over here and check this out this is having more listeners so on an average if i see other than that if i'm posting on daily basis now i am having this particular uh thing so if i go down yeah so one four three five this has increased tremendously so this number displays how many unique downloads we expect your next podcast to have within first 90 days of life so now if i'm posting anything all right on my podcast uh, in in this scenario then i would get on an average 1435 listeners in the next 90 days so that is what is listener over here and uh, these are the downloads in the last 30 days so depending upon how you there are million factors guys uh, on which your podcast statistics are based so please don't compare your statistics with anybody else always try to improve your podcast statistics based on your own podcast statistics when i'm seeing this particular one is 390 on an average estimated audience which was based on the 30 days window so now on the 90 days window i am having 1435 which is good i have increased all right on and and on an average every single episode which i'm having right over here is reaching close to 400 500 all right more than 400 500 so that is an achievement that is an improvement for my podcast people are getting more and more on my podcast so once again i'll be active i stopped posting my podcast on march 30 23rd and today it is 31st so probably from 1st april 2020 i'm gonna uh, post regularly and i'll i'll do these kind of episodes uh, in future so that you get to know that how i would compare once again based on my march 2020 statistics in future whenever you would be watching all right so hope this uh, gets you value hope you found some value over here with respect to podcast and i look forward to have you in some other episode